and won a jar with the only people Lolita had known in Canada when she arrived as an immigrant, a single mother with a nine-year-old daughter in tow. Wanajar had been a college classmate of Lalita's younger sister in Bangalore. When Lalita called Wanajar from a payphone, the latter's response was both enthusiastic and welcoming. Wanajar helped Lalita in every way to settle down in an alien land. And Prem, not to be outdone, began to help Lalita in ways his wife wouldn't have approved. It was getting dark, so I reached out my hand and tried to switch on the light. I found the toggle switch already at the on position. Aren't the lights working? I asked. Switching on the light, Praful said, you must push it up to put on the light. In India, the electric switches operated in the opposite way. It was at this moment, standing awash in the yellow light of low wattage, that had dawned on me had left my own country for good and immigrated to a land about which I knew so very little. Canada is a country built by immigrants. Nevertheless, people of Canada are not aware of the trials and tribulations new immigrants face. My stories, sometimes funny, sometimes sad, tell these stories in an entertaining way. When immigrants come to Canada, they find it very hard to find work in their profession. There are doctors working as taxi drivers, engineers working as security guards. These were stories which were simply screaming to be told, and that's what I have done. 